Hey y'all, let's check out Hillvale Bay. Hey y'all, so today we're gonna to be checking out Hillvale Bay. This is a 50s inspired beach slash amusement park grunge themed land. I am not in the shared environment and this land is not TP friendly. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So because this land has an urban grunge theme, I just wanted something that was gonna be a little bit more laid back. So very regular degular schmegula with the accessories. Give me a little chain on. Platinum accessories today. Got my two-tone watch with my little bracelet. You know I'm coming with a snack. Y'all know how I feel about my holdables. So got my nice little holdable with my little strawberry little treat yum yum got my little bracelet can't forget the coins yes i got a couple of hundos you know chilling in a cut so i just wanted to go with something super simple so i got some little camo pants some a little bikini with the matching top because you know it is a little beachy here and for the shoes we just went with some cool little sneakers to match the outfit very very nice these are some of my favorite sneakers that i have so let me go up and then we'll do a quick pan out okay you guys so this is my outfit for today so let's go ahead and continue so although this land does have a bit of a grunge theme you know vibe to it um it also has like an intergalactic type feel if you guys look at this it feels kind of spacey this is not the shared environment um it was quite dark but it does have like a bit of a spacey vibe to it and i really do like that so i like this land because i felt like more than anything even though it's a, it's a little dusty i feel like this land would be awesome for pictures um in second life pictures are a really big thing and so a lot of times people will buy backdrops and things like that but this is the type of space where you can come here you could take a lot of different pictures and the they have like really really nice backdrops so i really did like that and when i first found this land i was not too sure if i was going to show you guys because i was like eh, you know i like a lot of the cutesy stuff but all of the um things that they had here i felt like they were really nice as far as being able to take pictures in front of and stuff like that so i did want to show you guys because it does have a 50s vibe to it i really did like that um as well it's almost like a forgotten town you know so i thought that this would be um quite appropriate what's in here are these people i think these are oh my bad these are actual people they up here taking pictures see see what i mean i love this i love that they're in there taking pictures i'm gonna see if i could pan in on them let's see let let's see let's see what we can do okay super cute sis with the wings okay flame and he got his whole little vibe going i know they're probably talking shit about me they're probably like this girl is over here all in the business my bad i'm trying to do a video they probably doing the same thing so i love this car how it has like all the little graffiti aspects to it and things like that it's kind of like when you go into a car lot and it's just like an old car lot and people done came and vandalized the things. So though the car is like old and it done had vandalized, it don't got no wheels on it. They done took the wheels off. The graffiti adds like a very artistic aspect to it. And I really do like that. I love that there are people here taking pictures. You know, guys, I live for this stuff. I really truly do because I really really want everyone to come and just like experience these places um, with me um, I know I bring you guys along but I like seeing people um, walking around Second Life who may not you know know about my videos quite yet you know cuz I'm up and coming get the word out so I really really like that I really love seeing um, people on these lands listen this is second life so if you think that it's not gonna be anything you know adult 
you got nothing coming. This is a moderate land, um, but that means nothing in Second Life. They're always gonna, you know, be a little artsy with the words, you know. They do offer rentals here. Um, we'll check a couple of the rentals out and see like what the pricing is like. If you guys want to come here, when I panned out, they do have that, um, they do have like that 50s vibe to them and i really like that so we definitely will check out one just to kind of see they all look they all look the same from the outside so i'm assuming that that indeed is the case for many of them so let's see i love that it has like this little beachy feel to it okay hold up so first we're gonna check we're gonna check the price let's check the price real quick so this house is 775 lindens per week for um and you get 200 prams and that's not bad that's not bad at all this is a pretty big house in my opinion this is a big house for um the land I really like it. All of these houses seem to be um, what I like to call bookend houses where they all look the same. So you get this big room in here. I love the wallpaper. It's giving very much Brady Bunch. I love it. A really nice like Jetsons type vibe to it. So you go, this is like a little hallway. And then they have like another room. I love the wallpaper in these spaces. Oh, it's so retro. I love it. So you have two big rooms. I'm assuming that either one could be a bedroom. And then if you wanted to make one a bathroom, you could do that. But I love this. I love this little hallway space. Super nice. It's so colorful. I love it. And then you get all of this space out here. Super dope. And so let me pan out and show you guys because all the other houses um out here they look the same do you see how all the houses they're the same so even if the colors are different the layout is the same so i really do like how they have a lot of things kind of like scattered but it it does make sense it's like organized clutter if you will I really do like that so it's like as you're walking you'll see some things will be like oh wait a minute let me look at this and then let me look at that and it all kind of just meshes together perfectly I love how it has that 50s vibe to it but it doesn't seem like super duper dated it's almost like if you came across this land now you know in 2024 like I'm doing right now and it's just kind of like oh, okay well this is what things looked like at that time but you still have like the modern aspect to it because it's like you know you're in 2024 looking at it you get it you know so I really do like that I love these um, benches they're very retro, very, very retro. So this is like a little seaside diner type vibe. Super cute, super duper cute. They have the little couch, lots of little sitting spaces over here. They have the little pillows by the dock. And you know what? I saw one of these on a, I think it was a YouTube short or Instagram or something. And I forgot what you call it. Is it, this is like a Pelican. It was another one. It had a different name, but it, it looked similar. And so then you have like the little Dinah girl. And then if you wanted to come, I'm like walking in the air. You wanted to come and just like role play being at the diner. They have the little waitress here. So you see how like, she's like a 50s, you know, type waitress, but then she has like this gadget on her arm that's given very like futuristic. It's given prisoner. I mean, it's given very much so like, I have to be here. I'm not here, you know, because this is what I would prefer to do today. It's like, I, I, got, I got to be here they have the little burgers i love when they have things like this where nothing is like super perfect like a lot of times you'll go and they'll make things everything is like in a straight line they have the little jukebox and everything is just super duper perfect i like how 
they kept the kept some imperfections i feel like that does make things look more realistic when they have um imperfections to them so i love all of the signs and just all of the like the rusted aged type items with the cars and things like that and everything just kind of feels like once upon a time ish where it's like this is what things used to look like but you know they're no more with everything is just kind of aged and dated what's up here I love this I love this for the view so up here you get a real nice overview of the land I love the sky even though this is not the shared environment I think this is a very nice shared environment I love that even though things are aged they still added a lot of color to the spaces and I do feel like that just kind of makes you want to continue to look around this is not um normally oh they have like the little Mickey Mouse on the projector. This is not normally my type of land. It is not, but when I saw it, I felt like it was something very different and definitely something that I wanted to um, show you guys. So they have the little creepy baby dolls. Not a fan of the creepy baby dolls, but it is very fitting for this space. They're very creepy indeed, I don't like it. Do not like it, what's in here? So this is like a old, it's given like a old distillery type vibe with the towel. Oh, this is not a distillery tank. This um, this um, mails. It looks electrical. We're gonna mind our business. And then they have this dusty, dirty, dingy Mickey Mouse that I really, really like. I really like it. I really like this land. This is a perfect land for pictures. A perfect land for pictures this is quite a tip jar all right it's a very nice retro type vibe I really like that I like that they let you venture around and they keep the houses fairly close to the lands so that well to like the main area if you will so that you can still, the people who live on the land still can have um, quick access to the same things that the people who don't live on the land have quick access to. So this is a little fish and chips bar. What you got, what you got? All right. This land does seem to be about a sim, like the size is about a sim. But because um, a lot of the land is taken up by rentals, um, the space that you have that is like decorated differently for like people to come and visit, it's not as large. But that's okay because they jam packed so much into um, the smaller space that they did a lot for um, different decorations and things like that, that you definitely don't um, feel like you're in like a small space at all. I love all the signs. They're so colorful and they're so big. This is super cool. What's this? Everything is kind of like larger than life. And I love stuff like that. I do. I really do. I really, really do. So some of these builds do seem like you can kind of go in them. This one has stairs. Can I, can I climb up here? Oh, hold up now. Okay. What we finna have going on? Oh, it's got me going down the slide. How cute. I like that. Can I get on here? Does it let me sit on here? Oh, it has different sits. Wait a minute. Let me see what we got going on right here. Let's see what options they have for the sitter. Sit. Oh, they got quite a bit. Oh, I love it. And then it lets you go into like different ones. How cute is this? What does this one look like? She looks like she's hanging out. Hold on. I like this. Oh, how cute. I love it you guys 
So I really enjoyed checking out Hell Vale Bay with you all. The landmark to this place will be in the description box below. Definitely come here and check this place out. This is a super cool place, especially for pictures. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.